Bitcoin has seen a very nice move to the upside today, and I'm really liking where this came into play because just kind of looking at the structure of this chart, this green box I've had outlined for quite a while now, actually, um, an important level of support, in my opinion. Uh, basically, as far as the structure goes, I mean, we have this range over here where let's just say we have a high here and uh, we obviously broke it and got a higher high up here with this little range. Uh, as we failed to hold this range and continue staircasing higher, um, the lowest point between these two highs would be back here. So that's kind of, uh, this green box is just outlining my higher low structure, an uh, important level of support the way I'm looking at it. Uh, and just rather than having to just pinpoint accurate to the bottom of this, um, basically just finding where the the chart was finding support basically where the bulls were ready to step in you can see that we obviously had some touch points along this box along the way uh, so an important level of uh, support in my opinion um, I was honestly kind of thinking that we would drop right down to the bottom of this quite honestly I thought we might even take a little fake out down below before climbing up higher but you know what I'll take this because as I mentioned I mean we're just very nicely respecting this support box wicked into it a little bit uh, and actually that's interesting too because as far as looking at structure like that I mean obviously we we're setting lows we had uh, at a low, lower low, lower low, lower low, and uh, one more lower low here. So our highest point between our uh, last two lows here, basically here and here, would be up here. And so uh, I, I would have expected the bears to come back into the market if we were going to get rejected right around that level. Uh, that would be an important level of resistance in my opinion. So the fact that we got a four hour close above that is nice. Yes, obviously anything can happen. We still do have uh, resistance up above. Uh, so it's important to be cautious because anything can happen. We could just end up dropping the support. But so far, as it stands, I'm loving where we found support here. I ended up getting into a bit of a long around 27.3K, somewhere in there, just seeing this bit of a failed break here. And on shorter time frames, I was looking at the MDX Elgo indicators. Something caught my eye on a smaller time frame. And so I got into a bit of a scalp. It turned into a runner. So I closed 80% of my position fairly quickly and then left 20% running to catch this breakout. So yeah, I welcome this move. Nice to see that we are treating support as support still. Uh, gonna have to see how this trend plays out. If we end up dropping that support level, I think it makes sense that we could take quite a quick dump. Um, in my opinion, it would make a lot of sense that we get some sort of a third touch point along this trend line. Uh, just finding support here, support here. Uh, some kind of a third touch point along there would make a lot of sense uh, if we were to end up dropping this horizontal support. Um, if we get a third touch point and then a break, flip that into resistance, I mean, that's where we might be facing a, a lot lower levels. Um, obviously, we do have some support along the way. Since Bitcoin has been kind of staircasing, creating this support or the this structure along the way, uh, along our climb, it, it's nice to know that there is at least some sort of structure in the chart that we could end up finding support even if we do lose some other levels. So it's nice to see that Bitcoin has actually paused at some levels along the way up, just building that little bit of structure in the chart. So yeah, as it stands right now, uh, you guys know I have been possibly way too bullish uh, for the last several months, but I am holding on to that bias. I, I still think that the bulls have some fuel uh, in the tank. I know I have uh, been laughed at quite a bit in the past saying that I personally think we're on our way towards 48,000. Yes, obviously that's a long ways away from now and anything can happen that does not have to happen anytime soon. And when I say it, I'm not thinking like in the next week or two, I'm talking more in the next month or two we might make it up there. Um, basically, just because we did break some important structure once again uh, we had our low here lower low here this was an important level which we did top out at very briefly but we ended up breaking it so as far as i'm concerned the structure of the chart has actually changed a couple of months ago uh, for the better if you're a bitcoin bull so um, yeah important levels have been broken we're just kind of climbing higher yes we these pullbacks are totally normal uh, we obviously do have some resistance coming up ahead, but uh, just the way we're not getting rejected super hard. I mean, uh, I know on social media people are very quick to flip bearish as soon as we see some kind of rejection. 
I mean, this was an important level of resistance here, so it, it makes a lot of sense that the first test, yeah, we get slapped down a little bit. That's totally fine, but look how quick the bulls are getting ready to uh, just tackle that resistance box once again. So if we do end up breaking that box, again, it, it's more important to be able to react than predict, if anything. I, I'm just predicting... Uh, outcomes just because it's, it's good to be aware of things that you might be facing in the future and then being able to react based on how the price is reacting to those levels is the important part so uh, as it stands right now love where we bounce like I said already locked in a bunch of profits on my position there letting the, the rest ride hoping to catch a runner uh, if we do end up breaking out past this resistance box this ranges from basically well, let's just say 31 towards 32.6K, somewhere in there. If we do break that box and, you know, actually flip it to support rather than just getting some kind of a failed break, crashing right back down, if we do get uh, a confident break above that level and actually closing candle bodies above that box, I really do think, guys, that we're just on our way towards that 48,000. I'm not sitting here screaming that we're about to go parabolic, anything like that. I just think that, you know, there's a lot of people calling for bull traps that have been calling for a bull trap since back here. And I personally just think that it makes more sense that a bull trap would be a lot higher than what people were expecting. So I'm thinking that, you know, there's a lot of people thinking this $32,000 level is going to be, that's just where Bitcoin can't get any further. Uh, that just reminds me of last market cycle, kind of the $6,000 area. I don't know how many of you were around for that, but uh, just basically the bottom structure of the first half of the bear market. We had a beautiful descending triangle that played out last cycle, uh, much like kind of what the 30K range was. Uh, the 30 to 32,000 was uh, this market cycle, just kind of this base support of uh, this range back here before we really kicked off our bear market there. Uh, I, I know that it's obviously an old level of support. It would be beautiful technical analysis if it just played out perfectly that that support flipped into resistance, but it doesn't always happen that way. And if we were looking at this and this was any chart other than a weekly, we would be expecting it to go much higher. And if you just took away all these numbers on the right hand side and forgot that this is a weekly chart and we just pretended this was a five minute chart, 15 minute chart, hourly chart, anything like that. Uh, so many people would just automatically think we are going to pull up towards some of these higher structure levels. So, I mean, just the fact that it is zoomed out and on such a longer time frame, people have a hard time envisioning that we could actually be on the road to such a high number. But um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I talk about this level quite often. It's basically the 618 if I'm pulling a Fibonacci top to bottom. So rather than looking for a bounce, I'm looking for a rejection. And uh, the 618 actually lines up quite well with the structure back here. And it, basically every bear market previously, uh, we've seen a very harsh correction when we've reached that level. So I don't see why this market cycle would be any different. Obviously, it can happen. But um, yeah, just some important levels in the market that I wanted to bring to your attention is all. Um, just a random altcoin I wanted to point out, uh, Palm Swap. Uh, to me, this looks like this thing is getting ready to explode. Uh, obviously, anything can happen. We are really hugging the support of this pattern. I've been watching this triangle for a while now. Uh, many, many of you may have seen it on my Twitter at this point. Uh, don't like, we got this rejection. This was actually right when they launched their main net, basically. Uh, basically got this harsh little rejection here when I was hoping for a breakout. But this never did fit my uh, rules of, you guys know who have followed my channel for quite some time, when I draw triangle patterns, I love to see at least three touch points before uh, a line is broken, and th I mean three accurate touch points, and really we only had two there. Um, the third attempt was just a failed break, and this is why I say it all the time, that if we don't have three touch points perfectly before we break out, I'm more likely to chalk it up to being a bit of a fake out, and that's exactly what happened. And then that line even flipped perfectly into resistance, so uh, just something to watch for there. I think we're going to be forming a bit of a different triangle, just extending it a little bit. Going to watch for, again, just looking for a third touch point. I really want to see a third touch point rejection before getting a proper breakout. Um, but yeah, doesn't look too bad. Like I said, it's really coiling up. This is uh, basically what it launched at back here was 
or where did it launch? I think 1.7 cents, something like that. But yeah, basically very large triangle here. This is a four hour chart and it's very zoomed out. So very large pattern. Um, and yeah, you can see that we're respecting the downward sloping trend line as well as the upward sloping. So if we end up dropping the support, I honestly don't know what's going to happen. I assume we end up testing the lows of basically where this coin launched as far as price, maybe even lower. Um, we'll have to see what happens if and when that time comes. As it stands right now, I am basically waiting patiently before I add to my position. I've been in this since the pre-sale, so I do have a position with uh, Palm Swap already. But I would love to add if we end up getting, like I said, some sort of a third touch point on a triangle and then kind of flip that into support. I would love to load up. I think that would call for a very nice breakout. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's just a few things I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, if you found this video useful, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, with that, I have been away from home for just a couple of weeks, so I have been really slacking on the making videos. So I am back at home now. I'm hoping my schedule kind of goes back to normal here a little bit. So I'm hoping to be a little more active in making videos and that sort of thing. And so, uh, yeah, like I said, guys, one last time, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. With that, stay safe, my friends. Peace.